Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Today's video I have part two of this like ginormous uh, Goodwill Bins thrift haul. Um, I think I have about 30, 30 or so items uh, to show you. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got one sort of accessory here and that is just this really cute um, bear uh, little bag. It's got like little bears and they're all playing um, some sort of like musical instrument or like reading music. Um, super cute, just like little bag. I don't always pick up stuff like this, but I thought this one was so pretty. Next up, I've got two kids items. Um, this one is a new tags mud pie onesie. And it is, let me think, let me see. I don't know. Uh, nine to 12 months is this one. And the next one is, is a Carter's two pack uh, new tags of onesies for zero to three months. Uh, both of these kids things, I'm not positive I'm gonna list these. I do have a couple like new tags kids items in my closet right now. I may kind of lock them all up and take them somewhere like Once Upon a Child. I've actually never done that, but I know that there's one just down the road from me, so. I'll do that if I'm successful. I see stuff like this in the bins all the time. So maybe I should start just picking them up and taking them there and see if they will give me some cash for that. But yes, I think I'm gonna try that. Uh, this next one, I found a brand on this. I've actually never heard of it. It's called Do Everything in Love. I have a suspicion that it may be an anthropology brand, but I'm not sure. Uh, this is just like a really lovely sort of like soft eyelash knit poncho cardigan thing um it's like a zebra stripe as well but it's basically just one hole in the center and then it kind of just like flows down the body super cute very soft i think it said like an eyelash knit very like bread and butter piece um, i have another faux leather piece this one i actually found right next to the seven for all mankind pieces the new tags ones that I showed in the last haul, <laughs> but uh, this is a pair of Zara faux leather pants. I have, I do actually have really good luck selling uh, faux leather things, especially this one. It's literally, I mean, these guys look brand new. I doubt that these were ever worn. Um, they are a size small, but black Zara faux leather pants. This next one, very bread and butter. Um, I probably won't get more than like $20, $25, but it's the J Gel Lux Supima. I think I said this in one of my other hauls. Every time I find stuff like this, like I always find like these very basic type pieces. I always find multiple of them, um, but so they're always fun to just grab because if you find like two or three of them, you can just lock them up and sell them. This one definitely needs a steam, but I think I said like all this stuff is directly from the bins. I have not washed, steamed, photographed. I have not done any of that for any of this. So <laughs> this one, uh, Eileen Fisher size 2X is this like kind of cream. Um, it almost feels like a nylon uh, jacket zip in the front i think this one is a bit of an older style so i'm not positive on how much this one will go for but i really love selling eileen fisher it does sell really well for me so i'm gonna keep picking it up if it keeps selling this next one this is a new brand i have never heard of this it is called lit i will show you lit so i did look up comps for this let me show you it it is this it is a size large however it's like ginormous um very like sunshine happy yellow sweater very oversized um i looked it up and apparently that is the style so there were a few of these listed and they were kind of listed like really high like i think like upwards of like a hundred dollars i honestly don't think that this is really worth that much i think it was just a couple people like listing them really high but i'll do some research i'll probably throw up a comp or two on the screen but i remember when i looked it up at the bins i was like okay this is worth getting but i don't think that i will get as much as some of those other listings were trying to sell it for but very large yellow sweater 
Uh, this next one, this is a very sort of like bread and butter piece for me. That is a loft outlet lounge. These sort of pieces do really well for me in the summertime. Um, it is this kind of knit, um, I would almost say like a swim cover up. It's got these little like, I would say like cap sleeves, barely sleeves at all. A little fringe at the bottom, very kind of classic summer piece. And that's a size extra large as well. If that was like a size extra small or small, I probably would have left that left that one behind. This one was fun. I always, so a lot of times when I see like Sherpa, I will kind of just like skip over it. I really try not to pick up Sherpa because it just shows wear so quickly. And like if there's any like dirt or like leaves or anything in the bins, it just sticks to it and it just takes forever to like pick out. But I did happen to look at this piece and it is a Pottery Barn uh, Sherpa um, rope. So, and I think I didn't actually see a size on this. I'm wondering if they're one size. I'll have to double check that. But this gray Sherpa rope, and this is really excellent condition. It doesn't, the Sherpa's not matted or anything, um, but gray, darker gray, and it even has the little tie attached to it. So, Super great find. I think I saw a couple of these listed for like 50-ish dollars. I don't know if I'd get quite that much for this, but I do think that I could probably get at least 30, 35. So I am happy with that. This next one may be a questionable find, but it is a brand that I do love to sell that is called Altered State. It's kind of like a boutique here in Texas. I think there's a few of them around. Um, this is a pair of jeans. Although the reason I really got them is because they are flare and they have a really nice sort of uh, lace applique at the bottom. And these are a little bit of a smaller size. They're a size 28, but not too bad. They're very bread and butter piece and they're in excellent condition as well. I mean, these look like hardly ever worn, if anything, but lovely lace at the bottom, classic flare jeans. Another exciting piece. So this is Everlane, size 28, the way high jean, uh, black jeans, Everlane black jeans. I really like selling Everlane jeans. So when I got these at the bins, I was trying to look closely. Every time I see something that's like cropped, I'm trying to determine um, if it was manufactured cropped or like if whoever bought it cropped it themselves. I'm fairly certain these are manufactured cropped, but I'm gonna have to double check that. But <laughs> these Everlane black jeans, if these were cropped at home, obviously that will probably like kill the value of them, but I'm really hoping that I can determine these are manufactured cropped and go from there. But great Everlane jeans. We'll see if those are a good find or not. Uh, this next one, this was also a real fun find as well. So this is Anthropology. Where is the top? So this is, it's actually the brand, Anthropology's brand, so it's called By Anthropology. Size small. Um, it is this green, sheer, um, kind of like a crinkle chiffon dress with long sleeves. It's a long, tiered, uh, midi maxi dress something like that. Uh, this one was missing the lining, which kind of is unfortunate. Although I have sold so many dresses without the lining, it's not really that big of a deal. So many people have just like dress linings that they'll interchange, but super cute anthropology piece. Little, little tassels on the front. Lovely. Um, this is a very bread and butter piece. I'm not sure this one will sell for that much, but it's a J. Jill purple corduroy button down. It's a very like a royal purple color. Corduroy button down. Very bread and butter. This one, uh, I have sold a few things from this brand. It's called William Rast, although I think it's probably more of a style pickup, not necessarily a brand pickup, um, but it's this really pretty and very soft light blue um, button down, I would say almost like a shacket, although it has this really pretty, like really soft eyelash fabric on here, blue plaid, and this guy is a size small, so lovely. 
another so we have two i debated picking up these both of these pieces i'll show you both at the same time they were a little bit worn um although i feel like i can just do like a little bit of like a, a sweater shaver and clean them up a bit uh both of them are these j jill uh tunic sweaters so long line tunic uh they do have like a little bit of a nice like texture to them as well but we've got this one in gray this one is a medium and then the other one is also a medium. I think it's actually the exact same sweater <laughs> in blue. So they definitely need a little bit of a sweater shave, uh, particularly kind of like on the back, kind of lower back area, but it won't take me that long. It'll only take me a couple minutes to do that. But JHL sweaters, very bread and butter, nothing special. Uh, same with this one. This is a Chico's size one, which is a US size eight. Uh, it is this 100% linen, desperate need of a steam, uh, blue button down. These are really great for the spring and the summer. Um, and it does have this really nice kind of button back accent. Very bread and butter. I've sold so many things like that. This one is actually, this was an exciting find, although I'm not positive how much this one will go for. I definitely need to do some research on it. But it is Carl Lagerfeld, Carl Lagerfeld, Paris, size 10. Uh, navy blue uh, sleeveless kind of shift dress. Or is it a shift dress? I'm not really sure. But very pretty. It does have like some little lace collar accents. And then little lace accents on the pockets at the bottom. But I need to do some research. You know, it seems like some of these things can sell for quite a lot of money but some of them won't necessarily resell for that much. So as always, I'm gonna do a little bit of research before I list these things. Um, but this next one, this was actually fun. This was a vintage um, brand. I don't always pick up vintage things, but when they're like a fun style, um, I will. But this is, the brand is called Basisi, Basisi, B-I-C-I-C-I, Basisi. <laughs> there we go. Um, it is 100% 100% silk. That's what initially kind of caught my eye. But this really pretty, very Y2K um, mini dress, silk. It's got lots of beading. It's got the animal print. And it also has a really fun sort of hemline. It's almost got this like slashed hem look. Although if you look closely, they're like little like... Um, I don't know. I don't even know what I would call those. Like little like... They almost look like little fire spouts but i guess because of animal print it's supposed to look like slashes i don't really know but however super cute it's silk it's beaded it's y2k it is a size i didn't even say let me see it's a size medium so very pretty no idea what i will list this guy for next one this was exciting i have sold one of these before it's a tory birch 100% cotton size two tunic tunic I was gonna say tunic dress but I think it's just a tunic uh, these are very sheer and very sort of like lightweight so great for summer spring time um, very sort of like a vibrant print as well so I've seen a few of these I think the last one that I sold was very faded um, but this one's actually looks in really excellent condition very light wear but just like a popover tunic it's got like the v-neck at the front but super cute what else we got this one very bread and butter um i did see a few comps for these like upwards of like 30 dollars which i don't know if this one will sell for that much but it's urban outfitters size medium color block button down um very sort of like basic colorful um, I believe it's a woman's button down too. So very cute, very like, um, just like every day, I guess for some people. Uh, this one, I was so excited to find this one. Soft surroundings, size extra large, this cotton uh, mini dress. It's got these like half sleeves with an elastic cuff. It has a, a waist tie here to cinch it in. It's got tears, so pretty, this lovely like medallion print super super cute this one i think this one will probably go i'll probably list it i'll check comps but i feel like i could probably list it like around 40 dollars 
so for things like this i'll always like because i'm excited i'll like look kind of generally how much things will go for but by the time i actually sit down and film these videos i rarely remember <laughs> what i saw it was enough to convince me to buy it when i was there but sometimes i don't check comps sometimes i do uh this one i didn't check comps for something like this um lulu's it's new with tags if it wasn't Lulu with new with tags i probably would have left it behind lulu's just not selling as well as it used to but this one i thought was cute it's an orange kind of pullover sweater very kind of relaxed it is a size medium but yeah being new with tags i definitely wanted to grab this one so MG is another very bread and butter piece for me. Um, most of the time they're more style pickups. Uh, MG is a brand that's not super expensive, but they can have some really cute pieces. And so this one I thought was really, really cute. Uh, this red and pink, wow, it looks like crazy bright on the screen. It is pretty bright, but I think on the screen it's going crazy. Uh, MG size large. This is a really cute um, sort of like tiered mini dress with these little like baby ruffle sleeves. I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna try this one on and if it fits me I may keep it for the summertime. It's very cute So this next one this was another one that I saw like from a distance and I saw people like looking at it And I like rushed over there and thankfully they didn't grab it because it is a show me your moo um, yellow kind of like a gauzy cotton tiered i think it's a midi dress i don't think it's quite long enough to be maxi but so pretty honestly this one is another one um just perfect like summer spring dress vibes i will probably list this one for maybe like just over 100 um but super cute style um yeah i love stuff like this so pretty i can't even get it all on the camera but midi maxi dress yellow floral great style uh this one tommy bahama so i've heard a lot of mixed things about tommy bahama although i found a tommy bahama dress a few months ago um, and it sold super quickly for like almost 60 dollars. so i found another one it is this white linen blend um like halter dress let me show you halter dress it's like a linen blend it's actually it doesn't look super white on camera but it is actually pretty pretty in excellent condition it's not super faded at all floral sleeveless halter dress it's a linen blend um i think this one will actually sell really really well um yeah so oh there's a tiny little spot there yeah so i need to probably stain treat a couple of these um but for the most part ta-da super cute and we're almost there next we have one pair of lululemon shorts these are a really pretty sort of lilac purple um i don't know flowy they've got like a white lining inside classic lululemon i'm not sure on the size let me see oh well i think that they were a size 10 but really cute lululemon shorts this one is very last piece. This one is actually kind of an exciting find. If I can find the tag. Where is the tag? Where are you? Okay, so um, this it's called Innis, Innis, Innis Crafts 100% Merino Wool Size Medium Slash Large. Sorry, I think I just bumped the camera there. Innis Crafts 100% Merino Wool. And it is a lovely sort of shawl um piece so you've got this little like neck thing here and then um like a really lovely sort of like textured knit shawl um i did try and look this thing over really closely for any holes so wool is one of those fabrics that's really prone to holes so every time i find something that's like wool or like silk or cashmere or like a del more delicate fabric i'll like hold it up to the light and check but i did not see any holes in this which is promising so um i think that i could probably get upwards of 50 dollars for this i think that this is a really great find and it's got some really nice sort of textures to it that i think really help it sell but yes that is it we have finished i think that was around 30 items i'm not positive how many that was but i really hope you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next one bye